Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, too, congratulations! Back to back Emmy wins. Yeah, man. You're like what? You're like these. I'm not going to say the name of the team from uh, New England because I'm yeah, from please, Houston. <laughs> please don't. But you're you're becoming one of those. Uh, you know, like the the franchises. That do, congratulations! Thank though. you, man. Is I the adrenaline it. rush still still going? It is. I mean, every once in a while, like it dawns on me that in two years in a row, I happen to take home like the highest honor in television. And I get giddy. I smile in the car. I listen to kids bop, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, man, I'm living the dream. This is awesome. I'd walk around with the statue. I Actually, both of them. You should walk around. There was, I think it was a Seinfeld episode where Costanza had the, or, he, or Kramer had the around the necklace, the, the statue. Oh, right. No, you. I would get, my guns would get bigger because it's got some heft to it, for it sure. Does. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'd be pumped. <laughs> well, congratulations on this role. I'm curious, how did uh, it find its way to you? You know, I auditioned, man. It's funny, too, because when I first went in for the audition, the producer and director, Reggie Hudlin and, and Paula Wagner, thought I might have been too old for, for the part. And they were fans of mine from The People vs. OJ. And I thought it was more of a matter of not age, necessarily, because Chad and I are out the same age, but it was a matter of status and stature. Could I diminish my stature and status in the presence of Thurgood Marshall? I was like, well, if he's a, a limousine driver, you know, and a domestic who's been dishonorably discharged from the military, I think in front of one of the greatest legal minds of all time, I think I can diminish myself in front of him. And it turned out that it, it worked out. Joseph Spell, your character, is such a focal point, I think, of this story. It really yeah. is. Um, what surprised you about Joseph as you researched him and, and played this character? What surprised you the most about him? You know, I, I don't know if surprise. I think you kind of relearn things over and over again. Like, racism never takes me aback. But in particular, the interaction between black men and white women and just how taboo that was and how frightening it was to the white male populace. And the idea that this woman who was unfaithful who was in a, home, in a situation where she was being battered by her husband, knew that she could use this trump card of white privilege to say, like, well, it wasn't me. Like, it, he, he made me do it. He forced himself on me. Like, to know that that was a, a, something that someone could do um, and something that someone did do, it sort of, like, just reminds me of the history of this country and just how tenuous race relations are. What do you hope the conversation is after people see this movie? Man, I, I hope that people feel inspired. Like, Thurgood Marshall was the lone lawyer for the NAACP, crusading throughout the country, going from city to city, looking to defend African Americans who he felt were falsely accused based upon the color of their skin. One man can make a difference, you know? As I find myself sitting here talking to you, Dave, and recognizing that I have a platform, that I also have a responsibility with that platform to help shape the world in which I live into something that I would be proud of. I hope all Americans can see this movie and feel inspired in a similar way.